Hey guys, let's have a check on the most basic and the most commonly used diagnostic instruments in the field of dentistry. And these are the explorers, the mouth mirror and the tweezers. So these are usually used in all kind of uh, dentistry uh, procedures like the diagnosis, even when you are doing any treatment procedures. So one of the most commonly used instrument is this mouth mirror. Mouth mirror comes in two parts, that's the handle and the mirror separately. This can be separated and this is the mouth mirror piece. This is a one sided mouth mirror. So this is the mirror and it comes with a flat surface so that it gives the exact uh, uh, size of what you are trying to view. There are different types of mouth mirrors, one is the flat mirror and uh, one is the concave mirrors. The concave mirrors usually gives a larger look of uh, what you are trying to see and this helps while you are trying to see the smaller areas on the tooth. And uh, there are even uh, double sided mirrors available uh, which helps in uh, like when you are trying to retract the cheek and at the same time you are trying to uh, do any procedure on the other, other side. And there are different sizes of the mouth mirrors available. And the sizes range from uh, 1 to 5 and these range from 16 to 24 mm so size 1 is 16 mm size 2 is 18 mm size 3 is 20 mm size 4 is 22 mm and size 5 is a 24 mm so these are the various uh, sizes of the mouth mirrors and so these are the two parts this is the mouth mirror handle and this is the mirror handle as, as it's given it comes with the screw area and this is the hollow one pretty good to handle and this is the mouth mirror so this was the first basic instrument that's used in the diagnostic field and this is the explorer the explorer comes uh, one is the straight explorer that comes uh, with one end and one one side handle um, but this is the two sided explorer this is what we call as the interproximal explorer which comes with a sharp tip that is bent on the end and this is uh, used to check for the caries in the interproximal areas that's between the two surfaces of the tooth uh, in the, below the contact area where usually the straight probes cannot be used for the, uh, checking the caries or any um, any other abnormality and at the same time you can use this same um, Interproximal explorer to check for any other like restorations and their and proper placement. If at all there are any high margins of the restorations, you could remove it after checking it with the interproximal explorer. So these are the advantages of the interproximal explorer. It can also ex uh, remove the excess material while shaping the occlusal embrasures. Uh, so this was the interproximal explorer, and on the other side you are seeing this is the arch explorer comes in a semicircle shape and this is the arch shape of the explorer it comes on the other side of the interproximal explorer and it's usually used to check for the caries and uh, on the top of the tooth near the crown crown areas and this is used for the proximal areas so this is a two sided explorer and this is one of the commonly used uh, diagnostic instrument that's called the tweezer the tweezer is used to hold the force uh, to hold the cotton and any other uh, so tiny instruments transfer it from the oral cavity to outside the mouth so these tweezers are also called as dressing pliers this is a non lock tweezer where you can hold anything like uh, the cotton uh, rolls to place it inside the mouth in the area of uh, field so this is how the tweezer comes to use and there is a non lock one there are even locked tweezers available where you can uh, get a correct grip or hold of the uh, instrument that you are using or holding and it doesn't uh, slip out of uh, the tweezer so these are the most basically used basic and commonly used uh, diagnostic instruments in the field of dentistry that's the mouth mirror, this is the tweezer and this is the explorer, this is the inter interproximal explorer and this is the arch explorer. 
so keep watching the channel for other videos other guides and about the various other instruments thank you